Evening all, welcome to more Titanfall. Right, this is uh, this is further on. I'm now level 14 because, you know, I'm pro. You know, come at me, bro. Um, no, I'm not really. <laughs> it took a long time to get here, but I'm um, loving this game. Underlined arrows pointing at it. Loving with great big spangly writing. Like it's so good. It's just such a kind of cool um, break from all of the kind of grindy, grindy? Yeah, grindy FPSs that are out there. And I think... Um, I'll try and use today's, what, 10 minutes to explain maybe that in some more detail without my usual jibber babble. Um, but <laughs> I just think there's something quite cool about the game. Because it comes in compartments, um, little compartments of awesome. And the first part is obviously the infantry piece where you have two teams rushing each other. Now you'll notice this isn't just an ambush kind of deathmatchy deathmatch thing. Um, we are actually here <clears throat> fighting capture the flag. Now, um, this is very embarrassing um, for me to admit, but I actually got killed by an NPC there. Um, takes a lot to admit that, I think. Um, that's quite a manly thing to admit, I like to think. Anyway, yeah, so apart from being killed by NPCs, um, we're playing a capture the flag map, which um, is quite good. And let's talk more about maybe some of the things we haven't really touched on, which are um, quite important, because are, in my opinion, I think certainly the, um, the free running piece is excellent. It is done in a way that I think is almost Assassin's Creed-esque way. Uh, it's just so good. Um, I, I have a few issues jumping through windows, but that's, that's my issue, not the game's issue. Um, but look at this, you just basically skim up a wall, perfect. I love it, I think I've, I've yet to sort of find a shooter where you have this degree of freedom, although I still get shot out of the space, uh, of the sky by incredibly good players, look at that. Aimbot, yeah, I'm kidding, of course not. <laughs> but it felt like it at the time. <laughs> um, but the game is really, really solid and I think it's just, it's just peppered with good ideas as well, which is something that again, I think, you know, people will maybe forget. Um, when the reviews and etc. come for this game, I think some people may look at it and say, "Oh, it's not Planet Side. Oh, it's not. It's not Call of Duty. Oh, it's not Battlefield." <clears throat> and that's where lazy reviewing comes in, because quite frankly, this isn't trying even to be those games. Um, and it, this is why I think I quite like it, because it does feel something a bit different. Um, and let's face it, in today's gaming world, there's very little that's really different. Um, and this is why, I mean, again, there'll be a slew of reviews, and they will all be pretty terrible, um, unless they really are considered um, that this is a new genre. This is defining something, this is very different. Um, already I read a few things that people, I mean, the image and the perception of this game was, quote, oh, that's crap. And I was like, well, why is that then? And they're like, oh, it's only 6v6. Okay, point number one, Let, we'll, we'll address these. Point number two, oh, well, it's by Call of Duty. <laughs> okay, that's point number two, and so on. And these are the issues that, quite frankly, this game is very, very good. Oh my God, as that, as that Titan goes nuclear, whoa, <laughs> that was close. Um, but this game is good. It's not trying to be Borderlands. It's not trying to be Planet Side 2. It's not trying to be Dust 514. It's trying to be something very different. And I think for that reason alone, it, it can't really be compared to anything. And I think that's <clears throat> quite a challenge to re then review a game in a way, um, <laughs> when in reality there's nothing really to compare it to. Um, so anyway, uh, the game is great, and I think look at this. I mean, there's just such a great two dimensions of the of the battle here. Like that Titans fight, and that look, I run around the corner, and then I get stepped on. <laughs> but, but the be <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> the beauty of the game is that. Um, you oh oh here we go so i'm actually going to bring in a strider look at this i've actually come in with a strider titan which is like a really fast um you know lawsuit probably from valve but <laughs> it's it's like really faster so you see as i run around in this it's pretty swift um but the game is just good and i think there's many reasons why um, firstly, let me explain why maybe this won't get a terribly good review um, if it doesn't, because it is something trying to be different. It's not, most people, and I can't quite get around my head around this, but most people don't like shooters. They, or rather futuristic shooters, they actually have, quote, a bit of an issue with that. Um, which I've never quite understood myself. I always think sci-fi shooters are perfectly fine, um, because usually they're quite good as, as well. So I think, you know, I'm quite surprised um, about that. And I think secondly, because 
There's no air combat, at least not yet. Um, there's no logi repair kind of mechanics. You can't literally create a tactical gang that is able to, you know, uh, look after each other. Um, and a few other things, but it's because it's a beta, so maybe it's not because we've not seen it in essence. But um, I think the game is incredibly solid and strong, and I think it must be good because we played, or if I look across at my other screen, we played about 43 games yesterday. That's a rough estimate, but it was 43. Look at that thing go, can you clear? Oh yeah, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and his mate was right next to him as well. That is just so funny. Uh, <laughs> um, and this has got to be one of the beauties of this game is that it is, it's just a great pace. It's not a difficult game either. I think by the time I got to level 14, which is the top level, we had worked... Oh, my God, that thing went nuclear. How on earth did I survive that? We had figured out most of the things we needed to figure out about it. But boom, as I go up in the air, lost my poor little strider. So there we go. That's not good. <laughs> Um, but I think the game isn't too difficult in essence, and I think that's um, not a bad thing. If you run and gun like a complete loon, then you will die quite a lot. Um, I find the most difficult bit is actually finding the other pilots, the other players, who, with the smart pistol, which is broken and OP, um, they just shoot you down in seconds. And I find that slightly annoying. Like, I, didn't, I don't know if that's a hostile there, actually, I can't tell. Um, there, is that a hostile? I can't tell, I really can't tell. And then he shoots me, blah. And that's kind of the issue I have with the game, is it's very difficult to really understand who the hell is who. Now, it's probably just me. I'm not using the card right, but um, the card, the map, right. Um, but anyway, these are, these are small things, nothing too major. And I think the game is solid, and I can't wait to see more maps. I really can't wait to see a lot more from this game, and I think it's going to be, well, <clears throat> it's going to be excellent. Um, and I think already, you know, it's, it's definitely getting me hooked. Um, surprisingly, it's getting me hooked. And it's only a beta, literally, out with one Titan at the moment. Imagine what it's like with more gaming modes. Um, imagine if you can have more control over the NPCs as well. It's going to be quite an interesting, compelling game. Um, and I can't wait. Look at that. How the hell did he shoot me that quick? What a bastard. Um, look at him, he throws a grenade in. Uh, you can see what the, yeah, the, the gun cam or the kill cam is a nice feature. I think that's quite a good... Um, thing and already there are some phenomenally good players at this game but just the best thing to do is if you've got some mates group up and play together because this is not a, well you can play solo absolutely you can play solo but um, I think you're better off um, not necessarily playing solo because some people are just they're just almost too good at these things um, they must have the reactions of a five-year-old but um, so we go, we're going to rodeo on a guy, so what we have the ability to do is we can take its brain panel open and we can start shooting our shotgun into it. And then, and now he released a very nice thing called electric rain, or electric smoke rather, um, that is a counter against being rodeoed, um, which is nice. But um, I would say this game is certainly excellent. Look at that as I call in my Titan. It warped in, don't know if you noticed that, it didn't drop in, it warped in, it actually warped down from space into the map so it came in with seconds um but <clears throat> i've got to admit this game surprises me every time i play it when you get a bit good bit of action a good bit of a, a kill there is something incredibly satisfying about it um and i think this is the key again to it is that it may look disposable so one of the key things i was negative about was the fact that oh you lose your titan in seconds oh well it's just you call it in lose it call it and lose it call it and lose it it's actually not. It's actually a lot more tactical than that because what it is, it's all about kind of having the ability to, to ride the Titan properly. Um, and Nano is a really good example of this because Nano Cleric is a Dyreva in the game. He is incredibly good at keeping his Titan alive. <clears throat> Certainly a lot better than me. And he has this kind of ability to... Uh, uh, to you know, to evade, and that's really what it's about. Is is you need to evade when you need to evade. So look at this dude here. He's in trouble because his shield's down, but he's now taking damage, and he's not looking too good. But he's got a mate, and then oh, but I also do have a mate, um, and this is now good. Now he's got a better cannon. That's a 40 millimeter pow pow cannon. That's a much better uh, gun. There we go. He's now in trouble. His Titan's dead, and he's down. And let's try and shoot the pilot as he ejects. Um, but there we go. And it, the mechanics are good. The graphics are good. It runs pretty smoothly on my old crappy PC as well, which is an impressive thing. Um, I honestly would say this game is um, is something special. Usually, I wouldn't get into many games. I play I play most things that are released, and I generally find myself thinking, yeah, good good game, interesting mechanics, you know, not bad. Um, but this game, there was something about it that I think just just really caught me, and I don't know I don't know what it is. I think it was just this. 
um, feeling of, of the Titan and the, the, the infantry trooper, the strength and the weakness that's inherent between the two. And I guess the juxtaposition, if you like, if you want a fancy word, the juxtaposition between both roles is very good. And I think it's a, it, it, that has been carefully considered and balanced as well. So there we go. Not a great round for me, but hopefully you're enjoying this. So we're going to bring you many, many more of this. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Even all, welcome to the Titanfall. Now, firstly, this game's cool because it's got the red Titan in it. And obviously, I love everything about Titans. And I think, secondly, this game is cool because it's got little mechs in it. Little mechs, not big mechs, little mechs. Um, but here we go. This is just straight into it. This is part of the pool. Now, um, those of you who maybe I'm a kid, I generally play games with Gaspar, of course. This is kind of 